Hi everyone, Professor Stefaro here, and today's uh, screencast is going to cover cells as the unit of life and the biological categories, which is the science of taxonomy. And so we'll take a look at the taxonomy of life. Let's go back to the biological hierarchy and note that cells are the structural and functional unit of life. That is to say that cells are the lowest level in the hierarchy of biological organization at which the properties of life emerge. Remember the properties of life are things like order, reproduction, regulation, and so forth. And so it's here at this level and following through all of the higher levels of the hierarchy in which we see the properties of life. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Take a moment to visually compare the two in the picture and list the differences that you see. Okay, let's see how you did. Let's take prokaryotes first. Prokaryotes are simple and small. They have a size of about 10 micrometers to 1 micrometer in size. And remember, a micrometer is 1 1 millionth of a meter. Next, their genetic material, their DNA, is not enclosed, but it's dispersed in this region of the prokaryotic cell called the nucleoid. There are other structures that are unique to uh, prokaryotes, but we'll talk about them in a future chapter. The next characteristic is an important one, and you wouldn't have seen it by just observing the pictures of the prokaryote and the eukaryote. But the thing to note here is that prokaryotes were the first cells to evolve. Now let's take a look at the eukaryotic cell. This picture represents a typical eukaryotic cell having many of the structures that we would find in those cell types. And the first thing that you should see or recognize is the presence of organelles. Each one is going to be responsible for some cellular function. Thus, these cells are more complex than prokaryotic cells. One of the organelles that we see in the figure is the nucleus. And in eukaryotic cells, the nucleus encloses the genetic material of the cell. In terms of size, eukaryotic cells are on the order of one millimeter in size to about 10 micrometers. So they are a larger cell than prokaryotes. In terms of evolution, these cells evolved from prokaryotic cells. Thus far, we have focused on the unity of life the way it's organized, the kinds of cells that are in common between organisms. But life is very diverse too. And we can think of biology's enormous scope as having two dimensions. The first is a vertical dimension. And the vertical dimension is the size and the scale that stretches from the molecules all the way to the biosphere. And that's our biological hierarchy. The second is a horizontal dimension that spans across the great diversity of organisms existing now and over the long history of the Earth. Diversity is the hallmark of life, and biologists have identified about 1.8 million species, and the estimates of the actual number of species range from on the order of 10 to 100 million. So, we have to have a way of identifying, naming, and grouping all of these organisms, and that's the science of taxonomy. So many students often think of taxonomy as just the naming of organisms, but a lot of information went into the naming and the grouping of organisms. To be a biological taxonomist, you must have knowledge of the relationships among organisms, and their fitness, their structure and development. You must know mechanisms of genetics and inheritance. And you also have to know how organisms interact with their environment. All of those things go into the science of taxonomy to name and group 
all the organisms that we know. So let's start with the largest taxonomic category, which is the domain. And all of life is divided into three domains. Domain bacteria, domain archaea, and domain eukarya. And from the figure here, you can see some representative organisms. In domain eukarya, they have subdivided into a second taxonomic category, which is the kingdom. So let's take a look at the characteristics of each of these three domains. Here we see them in terms of the tree of life. This identifies that all cells started from a common ancestor, and then over time they evolved into the three domains. And those differences we can identify as, as follows. Bacteria are the true bacteria. They're prokaryotic cells. They're small, they're ancient, and they don't have a nucleus. Archaea are tiny, tough prokaryotes, again with no nucleus, but many are extremophiles, and what that means is that we find them in very extreme conditions, like the steam vents under the ocean or the salt marsh in the San Francisco Bay. And then the last domain is the eukaryotes. This is where you fall. You are a eukaryote. Your cells are large and more complex with a nucleus, and cells also have organelles. Okay, that's a wrap. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta!